Uh, I would like to make three observations before we go on and, and hear from others on some of the substance of this report. Uh, first, the primary objective of this report uh, is to send the message that this digital revolution uh, is not just another policy subject. It's not just one more policy area that has to be worried about along with all the others. It is a central policy area, and it is not just relevant to those involved in the ICT sector and ICT issues. The technology drives the revolution, but the revolution is as broad and as deep as human society. And we need to, it to be at the center of thinking across the entire spectrum of EU policy. And the time has come when, if we don't do that, we will begin to feel its effects. Uh, we have, for that reason, tried to make this report interesting and readable for non-specialists. And I certainly, uh, you all will be the judge of whether we have succeeded, and indeed others not present here in particular. But that has been our, uh, that has been our purpose. Second point, uh, a number of the issues that are touched on in this report inevitably tend to divide rather than, un than unite stakeholders in the real world, and they also have somewhat the same effect sometimes within our own membership in the EIF. Uh, that's part of the Gordian knot that policymakers eventually have to cut one way or another. Uh, we have tried very hard in drafting this report to avoid any special interest bias in it. But that's very difficult to do. Uh, and we probably haven't succeeded, but please, please, please accept that we have tried very hard. Uh, and finally, uh, this report is not intended as an endpoint, it's a beginning. And uh, at the level of the Board of Directors and its membership, the EIF will now need to consider how we take this, this debate forward, how we, how we benefit from uh, whatever interest we've attracted, and begin to really get to the substance of some of these uh, conundra. Uh, we have already started two experiments, and you will hear more about that from those who have helped us in it in a minute, but I just want to briefly touch on them. Uh, first, the board asked Jonathan Steele, sitting right here, who will take my place when I finish talking, because there are not enough seats at the Politburo. Um, uh, we asked him, because he has a standing network of global academics and thinkers that he often uses for this purpose, we asked him to take some of our central ideas uh, and challenge his network with them. He did that. He has produced a report, which he will briefly summarize here today, and we are going to post it on our website as soon as we can after this event. I have read it. It is extremely interesting, and it takes some of our ideas immediately farther down uh, stream. Uh, and at the same time, uh, we asked our blogger extraordinaire, who is sitting over here, Ajit, um, uh, at his suggestion, indeed, uh, to. Uh, create a policy bloggers network, a global policy bloggers network, specifically to come together in time to begin to, to, to blog on the ideas that we will present or, or we're going to present in this report. Uh, he did that. The network is together. Uh, he's already challenged it by asking them, without having seen our report, some of the questions that we have asked ourselves. Uh, the jungle drums are beating, I think, Ajit, and he will uh, bring you up to speed on, on where, uh, where that has uh, taken him. Uh, that's it from me. Uh, the only thing I would ask you all to do is spread this report as widely as you can. There's a comment, uh, there's a comment facility on our website. There, uh, Ajit will be blogging. Everybody should be out there spreading the message.